to check this out. Yeah. Check it out and check out my waist beads. That's 1.5 million. Right? Guys, <laughs> billionaire wife, oh, she paid in cash $10,000, baby. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's channel. If today is your first day, please hit the red button that says subscribe and you will be one of the very first people that will be notified when I post something new. So today's edition, I'm going to be talking about the Cayenne Matter. So that's the famous waist bead that is trending all over, especially when Regina Daniels got one and the amount she spent on it, people are talking. Let's gist. Okay, friends, thank you so much for tuning back in. Welcome back to Annie Otter's channel. Again, do not forget to hit the red button that says subscribe. All right, let's chase, guys. So, again, this is about Ned Woke and Regina Daniels and the West Bids. So, let me give you a little bit of background. Regina Daniel is a young Nollywood actress, approximately 20 years at this time, and Ned Woke is said to be 40 years older than her. So, that brought Ned Mwoke to the limelight light after getting married to Regina Daniel and people were just going, they went ballistic and crazy about the age difference. And also Ned Mwoke is said to have six wives or five wives, whatever. We don't know for sure because he have not said anything about those wives, if they are still married to, to him or they were go they all gone. But we know about like, like that's the Moroccan wife and Lily, who is said to be the first wife and uh, an attorney, but we don't know much about her. Okay, Nenwoke is said to have a network of $1.2 billion, and Regina Daniel said to have a network of 580 million naira. So they recently had a son, um, that's uh, Regina's first baby, and said to be um, the eighth or the ninth child of Ned Mwoko. All right, so recently Regina Daniel bought West B that cost $10,000 and some chocolates to it, okay? So as we all know, this is sex enhancer. That's when I went on research, you know, about West Bead and how does it work and what does it do? So I have come to know that the Cayenne Matter, which is a um, Northern, that's the house uh, language, okay? That's where the West Bead originated. Uh, they're selling online right now. So again, you can mainly find this in in places like Sokoto, KB, uh, States, and Castina in Nigeria. So this is meant to be or uh, to add a sex or love enhancer for couples. But now everybody's using it, especially the youngers are using it as charms, voodoo, to hook up to sugar daddies and some rich men out there. So that's how this whole thing went sour. Originally, the older women in the house uh, will even give it to their daughter-in-laws as wedding gift but now the whole thing is messed up since the youngies went into the market to use this as charms okay so if you look at the video you also see that the lady is selling some chocolates to regina Daniel. so this charm can always can also came, come in different forms they say some of them you can lick them you can smell them you can sniff them you can insert them you can rub them so they come in different shapes and sizes and forms all right so Again, Regina, who is says to be in a polygamous relationship with the husband who has other wives. So people are saying, why is she buying this? She knew what she got herself into. She married a, an old man. What, what does she expect? How is this man going to perform? Blah, 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 blah. But again, the man paid for it. As we can see at the end of the video, the man was happy about it. The man is excited to do everything that Regina wants and whatever that will make her happy. So this man is not 
not limiting Regina to anything at all. So again, that's the spicy part of their relationship. Again, I will never end those polygamy. Whatever it is, I do not care. I rather so Gary wherever I am and be comfortable with it and know that the man I have is for me and me alone. All right. So this Kayamata, how does it work? Some people say that you rub the powder on the on the beads or the perfume or the oil or the lotion so the man will smell it and get excited okay so this is these are made from herbs and spices and some fruits that's what it says to be made for until they started adding those voodoos and charms to it. And I have also read that they have to say some incantations for it to work as voodoos and charms. And that's the other part of it that is actually very, very bad. But normally or literally it was supposed to be stimulating the guy as the guy is looking at the woman wearing it and how those weird bees are jiggling during activities that will also get the man excited. But otherwise they have abused it to different purposes. Again, Again, on these things, we know very well that Kayamatan is, is not what it's meant to be today. Again, people say, why are Regina buying that? That's her money. We cannot tell people how to spend their money. So again, Regina, good for you. As you can see, Regina's own has uh, some chocolate, okay, which as as our uh, aphrodisiacs, you know, that's what this is meant to be. So again, that's the part of it that is not too great. Again, before you give this to a man, please know the man's health uh, issues to know if the man is going to be able to stand this or able to handle this. Again, that's my own part of two cents to this. Like my video and share my video. Thank you so much for listening. I love you guys. Bye.